brought to you by wonderful Florida oranges and grapefruit. Fresh, fresh frozen concentrate, canned full strength, and chilled orange juice. All with the natural vitamin C you need every day. And now, let's all play What's My Life? Now let's meet our award-winning panel of What's My Line. First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. And tonight we are delighted to welcome back from the coast an old friend of ours who is here to start his new book, The Question Man Rolling, and to roll on a couple of his shows, Mr. Steve Allen. And on my left this evening, the world's most charming crime reporter, Miss Dorothy <laughs> Kilgallen. Thank you. And on my left, someone that we're always glad to have with us. He's not only a brilliant producer and a majestic actor, but a <laughs> splendid game player and always helps us, Martin Gable. On my left, a man who is a news analyst, a great news analyst, always makes everything clear. But on this program, for some reason, always <laughs> makes everything murky. John Charles Day. Well, that was very nice, Martin. I'm grateful. I hope I can make things very murky tonight. It's good to have Steve Allen back. We'll have to uh, sort of get him a chance to break Thank you, in. We'll be very gentle with you tonight, Steve, and only call on you when it's your turn. <laughs> Fair enough. We'll also have a famous mystery guest before the panel a little bit later in the show, and we'll meet our first challenger after... Now let's meet our first challenger. Will you come in and sign in, please? Please, sir. I'm from Settimie, Switzerland. Settimie, Switzerland. Yes, sir. Ah, may I present our panel, Mr. Pfister from Switzerland? Will you, you join me over here, please? From where in Switzerland? Settimie, sir. Thank you. Where? Where, Martin? Do you know how we keep score, Mr. Pfister? Yes, I do. Every time you can give a no answer to the panel, we flip yes, a card. Sir. Ten yes, no's, and you have won the game. All right? Uh, then let's let our audience in the theater and the people who are watching at home know exactly what your line is. panel, we can tell you that Mr. Fister is salaried, and let's begin the general questioning with, uh, we'll give Steve Allen a little rest. We'll begin with Dorothy Kilgallen. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, Mr. Fister, I've enjoyed many trips to your wonderful country, and uh, since I associate it not only with beautiful scenery, but wonderful hotels, may I rule out that you have anything to do with hotels? No. <laughs> All right. What well, Mr. Fister means, yes, you may rule out oh. that he has anything to do with hotels. Oh. No, he does not. Oh, my God. I thought, well, you know, I've really chosen the wrong way around. Uh, do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. Is there a product involved in what you do? Yes. Uh, is it something I could hold in my hand? No. Uh, well, now, I would say this, that there is in the whole general category of, of the product involved the possibility that you might in some instances hold in your hand, but I think I should tell you at the same time, while there is a product connected, the service is paramount here, so that with Mr. Fister's permission, we will let Ms. Kilgallen continue. Yes. <laughs> uh, is the product that... Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't want me to go on with the product? Well, you can, but it's the oh, service. May I ask, may I ask this? Uh, is it a product that comes in a variety of forms or a number of products? Then I'll get off it. I really will. I didn't get it very well. Well, that's... <laughs> 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 
Is it a product that comes in a variety of forms or a number of products? To be answered yes or no, I will give you both a yes and no answer. All right. Uh, do you ever work out of doors, Mr. Fister? Yes. Do you work primarily out of doors? Yes. Uh, do you have anything to do with the land? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Gable. Uh, am I right in assuming that you have, if I may, John, you, uh, Mr. Fister has nothing to do with either cheeses, watches, or hotels? <laughs> You gotta watch those cheesy hotels over there. <laughs> well, let me. As a man who is accustomed to giving straight lines at home, to my wife, I'm very glad to say it was Eve Allen. Well, let me say that the specific service, which is the principal responsibility and the vocation of Mr. Fister, while it might involve an element of one of the. Uh, those three professions. One of those three professions uh, is not. Um, it is. It is. It is not to say that they. The one of the groups of products or the product itself is of paramount. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Steve, why don't you go back? No, you didn't do it, did you? <laughs> Michael, Mr. Fister, do you uh, apply your service to people rather th or to a product rather than people? To people. That makes it a no answer. That's two dollars to go this pressure. I had a choice of two and made the wrong one. Uh, Mr. Fister, are you in any way associated with the, uh, the sports in Switzerland? Yes. Do you have anything to do with the, with the skiing? Skiing? Yes. Are you, uh, uh, are you a ski? Instructor! No, I am not. No. That's $3.70 to go, Mr. Allen. Are you a ski-er? Ski <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> a ski-er. Oh, yes, true. Of course. Good. <laughs> now what are you going to do? Well, Mr. Fister, how's your sister? <laughs> do you have anything to do with the, uh, the manufacture of skis? No. That's four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, do you spend much of your professional time... John, don't flip the card yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> nervous. Uh, much of your professional time on or around a mountain slope. Yes. Do you have anything to do with a ski lift? No. That's four, five down and five to go, Mr. Gable. Do you, uh, in your, is your service have something to do with making skiing better known and more popular in Switzerland? No. Six down and four to go, Miss Francis. Now, he doesn't teach, and uh, he, he doesn't have anything to do with a ski lift, no. but he is a skier himself. That is actually uh, uh, pardon just me? a personal comment that he is a skier himself. Oh, yes. Uh, yes? Yes. yes. <laughs> Do you have anything to do with the, uh, with the management of things that might have to take place in the Olympics? Yes. Well, what do you know about that? I had no idea I was going to get a yes. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know what to, you, you... Coach, I'll uh, uh, Do you train the young men? But that would be in teaching. No, that's no. not it. Uh, do no. you manage an Olympic team, a skiing team? No. Seven down and three to go, Mr. Allen. Are you the head Galandersprung or anything? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much about skiing. My oldest son is a good skier. I wish he were here. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, have you ever met my oldest son? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Something about... What is there about skiing? I don't know. Oh, it makes everybody love it, so... Uh, are you, uh... Scamping? Oh, boy, scamping. <laughs> a champion skier? Oh, no. That's eight out of two to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, Mr. Fister, are you in charge of the Swiss Olympic team? No. Nine well, out of one to go, Mr. Gable. Do you devote yourself, however, to the interests of the Swiss <laughs> Olympic team? No. Ten out of no more to go. I was, a, I was afraid because you mentioned the three products, cheeses, hotels, and watches, and I said one might have something to do with it. He watches the skiers. <laughs> The one <laughs> <laughs> Act 
Actually, Mr. Fester is the chief timer for the, uh, the Winter timer. Olympic Games out in Squaw Valley. He's with the Long Jeans yes. Watch Company, and they have an electronic, it's all electronic now. Yes. Mr. Fister explained it to me. <laughs> when they pass in the, in the slalom, for instance, as they go through a, one of the gates, you know, in the slalom, there's an electronic beam broken, and, and the timing device is automatic like that. Long Jean is not a Swiss watch, though. I think no, but it, it's, it's a watch. Oil. But you have to wear long it's jeans when you go skiing. <laughs> 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 Mr. Fister, you puzzled the panel, and we thank you. We yes. had a wonderful time yes. with your visit, and I, I hope you too. enjoyed it. Thank you nice very much. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's see what we can do with the second challenge. <laughs> Will you come in and Jesus sign in, Lord, please? <laughs> Before the accent marks, well, I didn't know. That's Joe Agrisco, is that right? Joe Agrisco. Now, that is uh, from my many year, early years when I was um, shooting buffalo and hunting on the Great Plains, which were not part of the area where the Iroquois ever roamed, as far as I know, but that's Iroquois, isn't it? That's right. It's Seneca, actually, isn't it? Actually, it's Onondaga, but... Onondaga? Uh, How yeah. dare they? I, I, but, <laughs> but you are yourself Seneca, yeah, aren't you? Yes. And what does it mean, the translate from it Indian? It means uh, the sun making tracks in the snow. The sun making tracks in the snow? That's what, <laughs> is it, do you, you, what is the name that you use it every day? John, uh, we're back to my oldest son again. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Allen's son making tracks in the snow is what this means. Thank you, Jim. What do you use as your everyday business name? Uh, Oren Lyons. Lyons? Lyons. Mr. Lyons, where are you from? Uh, New York City. New not, York? Not originally, but... You're living here living now? Living here now. Oh, fine. May I present the panel, Mr. Lyons? Would you join me over here, please? You know how we keep score? Yes. All right, then we'll let the audience in the theater and the folks at home know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right, panel, Mr. Lyons is salaried, and let's begin the general questioning with... Uh, Ali and Francis. Mr. Lyons, uh, do you, uh, is there a product connected with what you do? Yes. Is it a, uh, uh, a product that I might use? Yes. Is it a uh, useful product? I would say so. If I would I say had this, I never want to be in the position of con <laughs> contradicting a guest of ours. I would think put to the hard test, we would we would not say that, uh, it, in practical terms, that it was necessarily useful. Uh -huh. Is it something that if I had it, you would see it? I mean, I wouldn't cover it up or anything like that. Well, that depends. <laughs> would it be anything that it might be on the person, rather than lying around loose on the floor? No. No. One down to nine to go, Mr. Allen. Would it be at all helpful to us, sir, to uh, bear in mind that you are Indian? No. 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 Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, is this a product, Mr. Lyons, that is used up eventually? I would hmm. say that we would consider that it had been used up in the normal uh, course of its, its uh, life, wouldn't you say? Just as we all wear yes. out. Yes. Sooner or later, I mean, it's, it's not like a, a piece of statuary that, unless something unforeseen happens, lasts. Well, I would say that it, its life expectancy would be uh, normally rather uh, limited. Uh -huh. Right. Wouldn't you? Mm. Uh, is it something that you would not have to keep in the refrigerator? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. You could, I suppose, but... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you would have to. Uh, would it ever be found in the kitchen? Yes. Uh, that would not be remarkable. No. Uh, is this edible? No. 
No. Three down and seven to go. And I would not give too much attention to the issue of its being found in the kitchen, as remarkable or otherwise. <laughs> Mr. Gable. Uh, is it ever used for a sporting purpose? <laughs> No, no. Four down and six to go, Miss Fred. Does this product move around at all? Of and by itself? Yes, as long as you put it that way. No. <laughs> five down and five to go, Mr. Allen. Then this product has never been alive? Or... <laughs> I've made a bad jump in logic there, so I'll leave the program. <laughs> Let me put it this way. Has this product ever been alive? No. That's a fine way to put it. That's six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. Could I hold this in my hand? Yes. Uh, if I were holding it in my hand and walking down the street, would people laugh? <laughs> well, it's, I guess... Not in a cosmopolitan no. city like New no, York. No, not in New York. <laughs> not in New York. Seven down and three to go, Mr. Gay. Uh, is this... Product, uh, does it ever come in contact with the body, apart from the hands? No. no. Eight down and two to go, Miss Francis. Does it uh, hang on a wall? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Nine down and one to go, Mr. Allen. Could you buy it in a grocery store? Like in a grocery? Could you buy it in a grocery store? You shouldn't. That's ten <laughs> down. No more. No. A pure grocery store, no, Steve. I suppose that there are stores which sell groceries which still don't. This was, the, you know, this was made for the season because Mr. Lyons designs Valentine cards for the North Star oh. Greeting Card. Greeting Card. Greeting Card. Greeting Card. He is an artist and uh, actually is working already. Are you not on next year's Valentine card? 61. We're just about finishing up 61. Do you do the kooky ones or the serious ones? Both. Yes? Oh, but he likes the, like the cookie. He likes the cookie <laughs> one <laughs> best. <laughs> At Norcross, he's known as the cookie duster. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Lyons. It's been Thank nice you. to have you with us on What's My Life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word. Now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which my colleagues on the panel are asked to blindfold themselves, as you all know. Blindfolds in place, panel. Good, will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? Panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, different form of questioning. One question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and let's begin with Martin Gable. Are you a woman? <laughs> ooh, ooh. One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Are you primarily known for your work in pictures? Mm-hmm. Mr. Allen. Uh, have you any connection uh, specifically with the field of comedy? Mm -hmm. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Have you and I ever waltzed at the Waldorf for the March of Dimes? <laughs> Three down and seven to go, Mr. Gable. Have you and I ever waltzed? <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy, that no to you was no, I haven't, but I'd like to, I think. Thank you. Uh, what was it to me, six though? Six to go. <laughs> the, the, uh, are you here to, uh, Publicize a picture that is about to open. Mm -hmm. Mr. Allen. Is that, what is that? That's yes. There's a picture open. Sorry. Are you uh, in the leading man area? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that a yes? Mm -hmm. That's a no. <laughs> now, this is a strict interpretation of the category leading man. That's five down and five to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, now he's already said no to comedy, hasn't he? Right. He's not primarily a comedian. Uh, then are you a character man? A character mm -hmm. lead type? Mm -hmm. Yes and no, yes and no. Mr. Gable? Are you always a tenor? <laughs> are you always a tenor? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Six down and four to go, Miss Francis. Uh, would I be correct in assuming that you are not 
uh, that you are known more as an actor rather than a singer or dancer. Mm -hmm. Mr. Allen, were you born in a country other than the United States? Mm-hmm. Miss Kilgallen? Well, I don't know whether that's, that's a yes. That's yes. Mm -hmm. uh, British Isles? Mm-hmm. That's seven down and three to go, Mr. Gable. So, no. Continent of Europe? Oh, I guess. Mm-hmm. That's yes, Miss Francis? Well, I saw a picture in the Sunday Times today of a man that we all like very much that's in pictures, in a new picture, and he's a, he's a very sad-eyed, innocent villain. <laughs> Are you by any chance a sad-eyed, innocent vil villain in pictures? <laughs> yes, I'm afraid I am. Oh, <laughs> Well, Arlene, you did your homework. Arlene read in the paper about uh, Scent of Mystery. Scent of Mystery, correct. which is opening here in New York. With, I'm uh, glad I got off that sound. I couldn't have done it. Yeah. What are some of the best smells in the picture? <laughs> oh, well, we ought to explain. This is the, called smell o vision <laughs> It smells, it, but it does have the, it ha has the smell in the theater, doesn't it? Yeah, that's Actually, correct. You know, it's something relatively new. I don't know how widespread it is throughout the country, but there is a theater in New York which duplicates uh, in the theater the odors which would normally accompany whatever action scene or place is on the screen, and Mr. Laurie's new picture, Scent of Mystery, is, is one of these. Yes, Mr. Uh, in California, where I come from, it's playing in two pictures, in, in two theaters. That didn't Scent help me any, is? but it's playing simultaneously in two theaters. Right, Mr. Laurie? Not the same picture, no. Yes. There's a, there's a documentary that also uses smells, but this is a, an acting picture. Oh, One is aroma uh, vision and the other is smell of vision. Oh, That's good. very right. <laughs> the whole neighborhood has stereo smells over there now. <laughs> you have a lot of more jokes, jokes coming about that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Not from me, I mean. No, but it's a great fun show. I think you'll adore it. Yes. Mi mystery? And I've never said it before. I've never plugged a premiere. And uh, so you can guess I might like it. Was well, this mystery comedy then, Pete? It's a... It's a Take off on a mystery, yes. Well, now, just for the technical side of it, are the odors uh, added to the picture after you completed the picture and shot it, and they put this new element in as a... As, as a well, it's a, a complicated system of which I can tell you very little, but it's complicated. But uh, it's very surprising, and it's used tongue-in-cheek for hints and all sorts of things like that. But, I mean, they actually use odors in this to advance the plot in some cases? That's correct. Yes. Really? I'm yes. still working on how the wheel works, John, you know. I, then I've got radio and television I've got to figure out. <laughs> You'll work it out, Martin. <laughs> That's an order. <laughs> well, I must say, Peter, uh, it's fun to have had you with us, and uh, we are all grateful for nearly destroying your vocal cords. He, he was determined you wouldn't, wouldn't recognize his voice, and you didn't, by <laughs> golly. And I didn't have too much translating for you, either. Thanks Thank very you, much for being our guest. Nice to have you with Steve's son is still up on the ski slope, is he not? I'm <laughs> oh, sure he is. Well, panel, I must say that you've not done as well as you might tonight, but uh, still, it's not too badly, and we'll all be back after this word from our alternate speaker. It's great fun having you back with us on the program again. You've had a relatively easy time tonight, only been called on when you was your turn. Next week, <laughs> you go into harness. Now, I'm just warning you, so you better do some homework for this week. Thank you. And Martin, it's nice to have you back with us again and Thank so you, capably sir. fulfilling Bennett's uh, publishing chair. Thank That's you, something. Yeah. And as always, it's a joy to say good night, Miss Arlene Francis. Thank you, John. Good night, Bennett, and good night to Steve Allen's lovely wife, Jane. Good night, Jane. Thank you, Arlene, and good night to my son in the snow, and thank you, Dorothy. <laughs> good night to all of Steve's family. Come next week now, be sure. Sure will. Good night, Martin. Good night, Dorothy. Happy California. Thank you. Good night, John. Good night, Martin. And for those who might be wondering, Bennett Surf is still in Jamaica on a vacation which he needs because he's been with us so long. And oh. thank you for being with us on What's My Line. What's My Line is a CBS television network production in association with Mark Gibson and Bill Cotton. This is Hal Sims speaking.